Hey Capricorn, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Oh damn! Wow, Capricorn, someone here is ready to marry you. Wow, that's like boom, boom, boom. Ten of Cups here. This person wants a happily ever after with you. If you're married to them, then they are very happy with you. They are emotionally satisfied. Or if things are not going well with you guys, then they want to rekindle the romance between you both and they uh, want to be in that marriage with you. If you are not married, then this person is definitely, they have all their intentions to marry you. For the Empress here, this person here could probably see you as the one who does not give a shit to them, okay? Because right now you could be at a point, Capricorn, where you don't give a fuck to this person out here. There could have been a breakup or separation, probably commitment could have been one of the issues here. But right now you're in that energy where you don't really care. You don't uh, want no one. You're coming from a place where you're abundant, you're enough, you're okay on your own. And there's a lot of self-love coming from your side here. And because you're doing this, this person is getting attracted to you like a like honey to a bee. You're coming off as very sexy, very attractive. Okay, this person here, remember the Knight of Swords? This person here wants to rush in towards you because they realize that there is no one like you, no one compares to you. This is telling me, the Three of Wands, that this person in their feelings, they are ready to take a risk. So if this person here was at a crossroads all this while, not ready to make a decision about what they want to do about this connection, they're ready to make a decision and they, there is some good positive movement forward they've made a choice and now they're waiting for the right time this could be waiting for the ships to come in which can mean they could be waiting for the right time they could be even waiting for you to message them or they could be waiting for something to change which would probably make them feel to take things to the next level here okay but right now there is no action action as such it's more like manifesting manifesting waiting patiently for things to work in their favor, okay? But overall, with the King of Cups here, this person here does love you very, very much. They love you to the moon and back, but they just think it's more sensible to hold back their emotions because they think it's wise. This person here has mastered their emotions, okay? So they're not going to let you know how easy it is uh, to open up or they're just not going to let you know that they love you. With the Ten of Swords here, so something could have ended badly between you both. Someone felt backstabbed, betrayed, cheated, lied to out here, but uh, you guys could have hit rock bottom in your relationship and this breakup could have been pretty painful between you both mm. okay so <clears throat> uh this person could be someone here who probably keeps sabotaging the connection okay someone here who probably keeps pushing you away even if they want you they kind of uh have um a habit of winning at any cost all right which is telling me that there could be a lot of negative communication between you both. There could be a lot of conflicts. You guys would just be like not on the same page or they've just played a lot of mind games with you, which is why you kind of chose to walk away here. Now this person has a lot of regrets. They want to drop their swords. They want a reconciliation, at least a communication kind of reconciliation here. And uh, they want a compromise. They want to, they're ready to compromise here. This is telling me that this person here is desperate. They're desperate to have some kind of communication with you so the knight of swords which we saw in the starting the eight of wands now this is for the capricorns if there is no communication guys communication is coming in out of nowhere it's going to be like a bat out of hell and the communication is going to come in so quick and there's going to be so much of communication back and forth this person could even be wanting to travel towards you or you guys could just meet by travel out here but yes in their intentions here they want to be very very straightforward blunt logical all right uh, this could be someone very snappy, but yeah, whatever they say, it may hurt you, but it's going to be the truth. Okay. So whatever, the intentions are still to be in a happy relationship with you. So that's not a problem. I think they're literally dropping their, uh, mind games. They're, uh, ready to be themselves. They're ready to embrace the truth of the situation. So what happens a lot of times, you know, some people block the other person out because of trust issues. So they did have trust issues, but they realized that they, uh, they walked away or they pushed away someone who probably was not there to hurt them. They were acting out of their own selfish interest. Now they're ready to come towards you, okay? And the communication, their intention is like pretty strong out here. But their communication is going to be very analytical, very, very logical. The way they'll communicate with you is what I feel is that no matter how much love they have for you, right? They're going to wear a false mask so that they come off to be more logical rather than being more emotional out here. But although with the Ten of Cups here in their feelings... They want the kids, the hamster, the dogs, everything that you say. 
and they see you as very attractive probably because you're not chasing you're making them do the chasing here for a lot of you i feel you guys could have blocked them out completely and they feel like what the fuck capricorn doesn't give a shit okay this person here uh, in their actions uh <laughs> no actions all right there is no action here that this person is going to take although they want everything with you although they are desperately trying to talk to you okay they're dying to talk to you there's no action from their side they're still going to choose to watch you from a distance okay they're probably keeping an eye on your social media keeping a tab keeping tabs on you speaking to common friends probably they're outside your house just kidding but uh, this person here is spying stalking okay and uh, trying to get as much information that they can before they make the move towards you i feel in their actions here uh, this person here is very happy where they are see this is the problem here with people like this they want a happily ever after with you they want that emotional fulfillment with you but when it comes to putting in that practical investment or the practical commitment right that's something that they don't want to do because they want that relationship where things are happy and uh, happy where they want you as their wish fulfillment but at the same time here they don't want to be committed why because they enjoy their independence this person here has a lot of fear of losing their independence and i feel for a lot of you this person knows that you're th that you want this so bad which is why they kind of stop themselves even more okay there is a lot of blocking and stopping this person is trying to tame their emotions their passion their love for you in a very subtle way okay by not using strength but by using inner strength and by using their inner power to kind of tame their emotions okay so they want all this with you but they're still going to hold back why because it's like they're at a crossroads right do i want my independence or do i want to get committed it doesn't matter whether you're uh, committed or not here independence depends on the kind of partner you have right but yes they're still going to continue daydreaming about you they're still going to be a lot of wishful thinking about you they're still going to think about what they want with you they're going to still going to procrastinate 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 and there's still no action from their side and if you're not communicating with them then they're going to stalk you okay they have their eyes on you here they're going to give you the silent treatment here but there is a new beginning coming in but may take a little while okay right now this person you see is very very mysterious because they don't know what's going on in your life because you could have completely just flat out blocked them out from your life okay so they're wondering what's going on so that's a lot of uh, inquisitiveness also okay they're very anxious about what's really going on but that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye next time bye bye